by day, but Metal World Peace is now a children's author by night. Yep, I'm Deidre Behar here at The Grove at Barnes & Noble, checking out Meta's debut book, Meta's Bedtime Stories. I had a chance to chat with him, and of course, we snuck in a little chat about basketball. Stay tuned. I am sitting next to a legend, Mr. Meta World Peace. How you doing? Doing really good. Thanks, yeah? for, thanks for coming and supporting Meta's Bedtime Stories. I mean, I checked it out online, and I love the message that you've got going on behind the book. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration. Well, you know, we just we were going to come out with a book called The Ron and Meta Story. That book is actually uh, approaching the, the finish line, but we decided to start with a book that was going to be uh, more inspirational because The Ron and Meta Story was just about me, and we wanted to first uh, have a book that was going to be my first book. Have a, have a big message. This book basically is to encourage parents to read to their children, mm -hmm. um, you know, promoting education. We think education is cool. It's just as cool as like when your hat's to the back like that. <laughs> it's just as cool to read. Same way, just as cool to read. I understand in the book that the real goal is to like teach people to keep their heads up, to keep on smiling. When someone has a rough day, what are like your best tips? I used to hold on to things, but as you get older, you learn how to cope, you learn how to deal with you know, stressful situations, and you kind of, you go through things, whether it's a, a bad day and you kind of figure out why you had a bad day, then the next day you're able to get over it. I can't sit here next to you and not talk about basketball. You're distracting me with your Los Angeles hat because I'm a diehard Lakers fan, born and raised here, but now you're going to rep for the home city, and I got respect for that. Tell me what you're going to bring to the New York Knicks. Yes, um, to the Knicks, we're going to bring a, a son. Yeah? A New York son. Coming back home, a nephew of LA. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, the, the aunties and uncles got tired of me <laughs> and they sent me back home to daddy and mommy. Now, the big rumor is new city, new name. Can you go on the record and tell me if you're going to have a name change? Is it still going to be MWP or are we going back to Ron Artest? Well, I'm not going to legally change my name okay. until my career is over. Okay. But we are, are going to do an, uh, a name change, but I can't tell you what it is. Can you but, tease us? No, I can't tease you. Oh gosh, you're killing me. You know, I've heard that there's two sides of you. There's this fierce competitor on the court, but there's also a guy who would hand out a $100 bill to a homeless man on a freezing night in Indianapolis. Tell me which side of you is more present, present today in 2013. You know, but one thing I never advise, I would never advise a person to do is to change. You know who you are. You, know, you have to be comfortable. You have to be comfortable with yourself, and I'm comfortable with myself. So I cannot tell you, you know, who am I? Who I am today? I feel I'm the same person I, I was yesterday. You know, and I never want to change because that means I won't be comfortable with myself. Good. We don't want you to change. We want you to keep killing it. And of course, you guys, make sure you pick up a copy of Meta's Bedtime Stories. It's an amazing book for all ages. Yeah, it's relatable, but you know, it's mainly for kids. Okay. So but if you're 50, <laughs> read it. And if you like it, then you know. We'll do another book. If you could describe Meta in one word, what would it be? Hilarious. That's it. Yeah. Plain and simple. What is it about Meta that gets you pumped up? Not only is he an amazing basketball player, but he's probably one of the funniest personalities out there. So you've obviously been here so long that you've got a friend sleeping on the ground yeah. over here. We uh, got here at about 8 o'clock this morning. All in the name of Meta. Yes, in the, in the name of Meta. So obviously Meta World Peace was just as cool as we thought he was. Make sure you pick up his book. And before you go, there's one last thing you have to do. What is it? Subscribe! That's it. I'm Deidre Behar, and I'll see you guys next time.